hemorrhagic septicemia. Etiology Epidemiology Diagnosis Prevention and Control References Etiology Classification of the Causative Agent Pastorella Multicida Order, Pastorellales Family, Pastorellaceae Hemorrhagic Septicemia, HS, oh, yeah. is caused by certain serotypes of Pastorella Multicida, a gram-negative cockobacillus residing mostly no. as a commensal in the nasopharynx of animals. The Asian serotype B, 2, and the African serotype E, 2, Carter and Heddleston system, corresponding to the newer 6, B, and 6, E classification, Namioka Carter system, are mainly responsible for the disease. Other serotypes, namely A, 1, A, 3, A, 4, A, 1, 3, have been associated with a HS-like condition in cattle and buffaloes in India with mainly pneumonia leading to death. The letter denotes the capsular antigen and the number stands for the somatic antigen. Resistance to physical and chemical action. Temperature. Pastorella multicida is susceptible to mild heat, 55 degrees Celsius. Disinfectants. Pastorella multicida is susceptible to most hospital disinfectants. Survival. Pastorella multicida does not remain viable for long periods in the environment, but it can survive for hours and possibly days in damp soil or water. Rainy conditions and high humidity facilitate transmission. Epidemiology. HS is a major disease of cattle and buffaloes characterized by an acute, highly fatal septicemia with high morbidity and mortality. In many Asian countries HS disease outbreaks mostly occur during the climatic conditions typical of monsoon, high humidity, and high temperatures. However, with climate change, incidences of disease may occur any month of the year. Spatial and temporal variation in HS outbreaks are being reported. Hosts Cattle and water buffaloes, Bubilus bubilus, are the principal hosts of hemorrhagic septicemia, and it is widely considered that buffaloes are the most susceptible. These species, as well as bison, appear to be the reservoirs of infection. Although outbreaks of HS have been reported in sheep, goats, and swine, it is not a frequent or significant disease. Infrequent cases have been reported in deer, camels, elephants, horses, donkeys, and yaks. Systemic pastoralosis has been reported in various species of deer. North American range bison may also be infected. Laboratory rabbits and mice are highly susceptible to experimental infection. There are no reported cases of human infection. Transmission Pastorella multicida is transmitted by direct contact with infected animals and on fomites. Cattle and buffalo become infected when they ingest or inhale the causative organism, which probably originates in the nasopharynx of infected animals. In endemic areas, up to 5% of cattle and water buffalo may normally be carriers. The worst epidemics occur during the rainy season, in animals in poor physical condition. Stresses such as a poor food supply are thought to increase susceptibility to infection, and close herding and wet conditions seem to contribute to the spread of the disease. Pastorella multicida can survive for hours and possibly days in damp soil or water. Viable organisms are not found in the soil or pastures after two to three weeks. Biting arthropods do not seem to be significant vectors. Sources of the agent blood, septicemia in HS occurs at the terminal stage of the disease, therefore, blood samples taken from sick animals before death may not always contain P. multicida organisms. Additionally, animals under chemotherapeutics may not show presence of P. multicida organisms in blood smears. Nasal secretions, however, organisms are also not consistently present in sick animals. Occurrence Hemorrhagic septicemia is an important disease in Asia, Africa, and the Middle East. It has never been confirmed in Mexico, Central, or South America. The B2 serotype has been seen in Southern Europe, the Middle East, Southeast Asia, Egypt, and the Sudan. The E2 
2 serotype has been reported in Egypt, the Sudan, the Republic of South Africa, and several other African countries. Three confirmed outbreaks have been reported in one bison herd in the United States, however, there is no evidence that the disease spread to neighboring cattle. Diagnosis The incubation period varies from 3 to 5 days. Some characteristic epidemiologic and clinical features, sudden death, aid in the recognition of HS. Of particular significance is a history of earlier outbreaks and a recent failure to vaccinate. Sporadic cases are more difficult to diagnose clinically. The season of the year, rapid course, and high herd incidents, with fever and edematous swellings and terminal death indicate typical HS. Characteristic necropsy lesions, edema, widespread congestion slash hemorrhages on vital organs, support the clinical diagnosis, confirmation requires the isolation and characterization of the pathogen using conventional and molecular techniques. In experimental infections with lethal doses, cattle or buffalo develop clinical signs within a few hours and die within 18 to 30 hours. Morbidity depends on immunity and environmental conditions, including both weather and husbandry practices. Morbidity is higher when animals are herded closely, in poor rearing condition, or exposed to wet conditions. Mortality is nearly 100% unless the animal is treated very early in the disease. Few animals survive once they develop clinical signs. Clinical Diagnosis Most cases in cattle and buffalo are acute or per-acute. Buffaloes are generally more susceptible to HS than cattle and show more severe forms of disease with profound clinical signs. A fever, dullness, and reluctance to move are the first signs. Salivation and a serous nasal discharge develop, and edematous swellings become apparent in the pharyngeal region. These swellings spread to the ventral cervical region and brisket. Mucous membranes are congested. Respiratory distress occurs, and the animal usually collapses and dies 6 to 24 hours after the first signs are seen. Either sudden death or a protracted course up to five days is also possible. Animals with clinical signs, particularly buffalo, rarely recover. Chronic cases do not seem to occur in cattle and buffalo. In endemic areas, most deaths are confined to older calves and young adults. Massive epizootics may occur in endemic as well as non-endemic areas. In the recent past, HS has been identified as a secondary complication in cattle and buffaloes following outbreaks of foot and mouth disease or any immune-compromised slash stress conditions. Case fatality approaches 100% if treatment is not followed at the initial stage of infection. Lesions Widespread hemorrhages, edema, and hyperemia, consistent with severe sepsis. Edema consists of a coagulated serofibrinous mass with straw-colored or blood-stained fluid. Swelling of the head, neck, and brisket occurs in nearly all cases. Similar swellings can also be found in the musculature. Subserosal petechial hemorrhages may occur throughout the body, and the thoracic and abdominal cavities often contain blood-tinged fluid. Scattered petechiae may be visible in the tissues and lymph nodes, particularly the pharyngeal and cervical nodes. These nodes are often swollen and hemorrhagic. Pneumonia or gastroenteritis occasionally occurs, but usually is not extensive. Atypical cases, with no throat swelling and extensive pneumonia, are sometimes seen. There are no microscopic features that are specific for hemorrhagic septicemia. All lesions are consistent with severe endotoxic shock and massive capillary damage. Differential Diagnosis Shipping fever is often mistakenly confused for HS, but has a multifactorial etiology, often Mannheimia hemolytica, is not septicemic, and does not cause multisystemic petechial hemorrhages. The peracute nature of the disease and the extensive edema and hemorrhage make it difficult to differentiate from blackleg and anthrax. Acute salmonellosis, mycoplasmosis, lightning, snake bites, poisoning and pneumonic pastorellosis should also be considered. 
Laboratory Diagnosis Samples Pastorella multicida is not always found in blood samples before the terminal stage of the disease and is not consistently present in nasal secretions or body fluids of sick animals. Recently dead animals. Oh, a heparinized blood sample or swab should be collected from the heart within a few hours of death and a nasal swab. Oh, other visceral organs may also be sampled if a necropsy is not feasible. Blood samples can be taken from the jugular vein by aspiration or incision. Blood samples should be placed in a standard transport medium and transported on ice packs. O spleen and bone marrow provide excellent samples for the laboratory, as these are contaminated relatively late in the postmortem process by other bacteria. Animals that have been dead for a long time. O a long bone, femur slash humerus should be taken from its carcass. Live animals. O nasal swab or blood. Procedures. Identification of the agent. Culture and biochemical methods. The diagnosis of HS depends on the isolation of the causative organism, P. multicida, from the blood or bone marrow of a dead animal by cultural and biological methods, and the identification of the organism by biochemical, serological, and molecular methods. Blood smears from affected animals can be stained with gram, leishmans, or methylene blue stains. The organisms appear as gram-negative, bipolar staining short bacilli. No conclusive diagnosis can be made on direct microscopic examinations alone. Samples may be cultured on casein slash sucrose slash yeast agar containing 5% blood. Conventional blood agar may also be used. Details, including biochemical methods for identification of the organisms, can be found in the OIE Terrestrial Manual. Serotyping methods. Serotyping methods include the rapid slide agglutination test, indirect hemagglutination test, somatic antigen agglutination tests, agar gel immunodiffusion, and counter immunoelectrophoresis. The following techniques can be used to reach a diagnosis. Please find the details in the OIE Terrestrial Manual. O Rapid Slide Agglutination, Capsular Typing. O Indirect Hemagglutination Test, Capsular Typing. O Agar Gel Immunodiffusion Tests. O Counter Immunoelectrophoresis. O Agglutination Tests, Somatic Antigen. Nucleic Acid Recognition Methods. PCR technology can be applied for rapid, sensitive and specific detection of P. multicida, the rapidity and high specificity of two of the P. multicida-specific assays provide optimal efficiency without the need for additional hybridization. The P. multicida-specific PCRs identify all subspecies of P. multicida. For capsular and somatic typing of isolates, Multiplex capsular PCR typing and LPSM PCR assays may be used as alternative to serological typing. Once presumptive, or definitive, identification has been made, further differentiation of isolates can be achieved by genotypic fingerprinting methods, restriction endonuclease analysis, RAPD-PCR, random amplified polymorphic DNA polymerase chain reaction, Enterobacterial Repetitive Intragenic Consensus, ERIC, PCR, Repetitive Extragenic Palindromic, REP, PCR, Amplified Fragment Link Polymorphism Analysis, etc. PCR fingerprinting is feasible for any laboratory with PCR capability. Serological Tests Serological tests are not normally used for diagnosis. However, high titers, 1 160 or higher by indirect hemagglutination, in surviving in-contact animals are suggestive of the disease. Prevention and Control Sanitary Prophylaxis Vaccination is routinely practiced in endemic areas. Avoiding crowding, especially during wet conditions, will also reduce the incidence of disease. Medical Prophylaxis Antibiotic treatment is effective if it is started very early, during the pyretic stage. Various HS vaccines can provide protection for 6 to 12 months. 
Antimicrobial Susceptibility Testing AST, is particularly necessary for P. multicida, for which resistance to commonly used antimicrobial agents has occurred. Strains of P. multicida vary in susceptibility to chemotherapeutic agents. The following agents have proven their clinical efficacy, penicillin, amoxicillin, or ampicillin, cephalothin, ceftiofer, cefquinone, streptomycin, gentamicin, spectinomycin, fluorphenicol, tetracycline, sulfonamides, trimethoprim, slash sulfamethoxazole, erythromycin, tilmycosin, enrofloxacin, or other fluoroquinolones, amikacin and norfloxacin. However, there is gradual development of resistance for commonly used agents such as carbenicillin, amikacin, erythromycin, and penicillin. Animals that are exposed to Pastorella multicida serotype 6, B, and 6, E, and that survive are considered solidly immune. Inactivated Vaccines Vaccination is routinely practiced in endemic areas. Three preparations are used, dense bacterins, combined with either alum adjuvant or oil adjuvant, and formal and inactivated bacterins. The oil adjuvant bacterin is thought to provide protection for up to one year and the alum bacterin for four to six months. Maternal antibody interferes with vaccine efficacy in calves. Live attenuated vaccines. A live HS vaccine prepared using an avirulent P. multicida strain B. 3, 4, fallow deer strain, has been used for control of the disease in cattle and buffaloes over six months of age in Myanmar since 1989. It is administered by intranasal aerosol application. The vaccine has been recommended by the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations FAO, as a safe and potent vaccine for use in Asian countries. However, there is no report of its use in other countries and killed vaccines are the only preparations in use by the countries affected with HS. A trial of the vaccine has been completed in Indonesia. Public Health There are no confirmed reports of human infections with P. multicida serotypes B, 2 and E, 2. However, other serotypes do cause human infections and precautions should be taken to avoid exposure.